On the last episode of Love Your Landscape here at the Rusty Shovel, we talked all about paving stones and what your options are. Now we're going to be talking about how you can build up those projects even more and add a retaining wall. So Sean, Stefan, you're back with us now. Talk to us about some of those scenarios in which people might want to add those retaining walls. Yeah, so one of them, one of those reasons is out of necessity. So if you've got a really big sloped yard and you want to create some usable space, um, a structural retaining wall uh, is something that we can help you out with. Um, and then the other thing is just purely aesthetic. So, you know, everybody's seen in front of, a, you know, in front of that big picture window in your front yard, you really want to make that flower bed pop. You want to bring it up out of the ground a little bit. Uh, that's another place that we can go. So you drive around town, you really see a lot of the same when it comes to retaining walls, but there's so many new and innovative options. Can you walk us through some of those? Yeah, so the, the biggest thing that we want to do here at the Rusty Shovel is let people know what their options are. There's a whole nother world other than just the three products that are on display at the box store. So we've got 9,000 square feet of indoor and outdoor display space that you can come and have a look at here and we can actually show you what some of those options are on top of the special order products that we can get in as well. So we've got two lines, uh, Belgard and Teckle Block that we carry here um, and we've just got a ton of different options for people whether that it's that structural retaining wall or just something that uh, looks really good to uh, kind of round out your flower beds. So when people are taking on a project like this, like landscaping, sometimes it can be pricey, but there are some things that they can do to make sure that they're doing it right. Let's talk first about the financial mistakes people make when it comes to retaining walls. Yeah, so with retaining walls, sometimes people get caught up in the cost per block. Um, the thing about it is that all the blocks aren't created equal. So sometimes you can actually get more bang for your buck in budget by going to something nicer that may appear to look a little bit more expensive just because of the size of the unit um, but it's actually more cost effective sometimes to go to a more functional block or or a, or a nicer looking block. Okay we've heard how to do it wrong now let's hear how to do it right. Yeah, so that's a big part of what we do here. We want to provide support whether you want to have a qualified contractor install it for you or uh, uh, do the work yourself. We want to go through and get you the proper construction technique. So with the retaining wall, um, the big thing is water management, not just the actual wall block itself. Um, and also sometimes that comes with soil uh, reinforcement uh, in behind the wall. So we're going to help you figure out um, how to, how to do that properly, make sure the water is getting to where it needs to so that you don't have that wall failure. Okay, any final advice for somebody taking on a project like this this spring? I think the easy thing to do um, is if you have a project, go to the website, upload some pictures for us. We've got an easy quote system that uh, allows you to just get an idea like what the heck is this thing going to cost me to do um, and then come down here have a look at the product see what you like let us help you plan it right so that you can do it right the first time and, and not have to do it uh, a bunch of times. Awesome advice. Thanks so much, Sean. That's it for this edition of Love Your Landscape. But as he said, if you want more information on getting started with your landscaping projects, head on over to their website. Love Your Landscape, brought to you by The Rusty Shovel.